yo, we back again. If you throw it in the towel, then you back and sin. We need the Holy Spirit, please let the chaplain in. He at the front door, chilling with the childish grin. We can now begin. Now the truth be told, we're riding on the light to let the youth get old. And following the one that will soothe your soul and take your bad situation and improve your role to release your flow. It's a long stretch to loosen all the nooses from the baby's nets. And tell the young ladies they should save the sex And tell the young guys not to break their neck Cause the place of sex but get the paycheck And real women really don't play that A wise lesson learned really, really way back I used to okay that The Lord saved me back from a life of whack Come on Give it to the black place On this, on this next verse, you will turn to me. Give me your attention for a minute. Damn. From the same cut, but playing in different positions. A top secret message got the president attention. Do what you do, just make the good folk listen. And trust me, yo, it's not about who you kissing. There is a plan to see you chewed up and shit out. The devil's burning red from the fire that we spit out. We on the get up, the hell with that down low. Cherish the gift of the wisdom that we found, yo. Still on the mission with the daily agenda. Your head's been cloudy, so I doubt you do remember that I walk with the king of kings besides me. Just like the root in India, I read. I volunteer, no, the Lord didn't hire me. It is the spirit that inspire me. Water of life, just show the chief where the fire be. We have no time for those that be acting grimy. Yeah, I get it. You see the, you see the light now? See the light now? See the light now? See the light now? Ah, ah, boy, I've been talking to y'all for a while. You see, you thought this was for like some type of game, man. Man, revolution. Yeah. When you free your mind, your ass will follow. That's for real. If some of y'all locked up so bad, don't nobody have to put chains on you. Hell, you chain yourself down mentally, spiritually. Come on, free your mind, dude. You a king. Free your mind, chick. You a queen. Something with some feel to it, some funk to it. Come on. I think I like that. Can we get some heavy drums in there? More like Caribbean soul. Caribbean. Yeah. Yes, we did. Bounce to this. I'm just a black man, title, yo, you give me that. I like them imports, never push the Cadillac. And would you figure, Mr. Man, why you kicking back with sick plans to get you stacked, making chickens fat? You know you into that, chilling with your timber cat. Intoxicated to the point, past simple acts. Be very nimble, Jack, or Jill will get a water back. And have your heart broke just like a heart attack. Look where your power at, no, not the mitral cats. It's deeper than taps and hurricanes and old maps. The spirit flows, so my folks throw daps. Meant for the wisest. As well as the spore brats So you can fold up or either you can fold back I hold no judgment over those that have chose crack Terror over habit that has been proven to hold back With God on your side you can get your soul back Yeah we need some three parts on this, man. Yes, sir. I can't carry this my boys at chorus. Man. Come on, line up. Yo, yo. We need y'all three part harmony on this. I don't know how you can work it out, but work it out. I hope you can see by the end of the night how deep this music is. What is it, proud of the man to gain the world and lose your soul? Into the room, you feel a certain doom. You might lose your hearing from the sonic boom. Out of the mouth is a sword, and I'm taking you out. You try to stop me, and I'm faking you out. Man, I wish I had an apprentice to build this work. Collaborate on synthesis, and I hope you remember this. Keep your enemy near to you. 
far away keep those that are dear to you I hate beer but I used to drink the brew Heavily into the little habit turned deadly I used to have a bud every day and all week Intoxicated to the point where I couldn't hardly speak So do the knowledge, that means hold your head Let the past stay dead and keep a level head And don't be misled, remember most of what I said I'm hot like times in a rock But you got us hot when working hold on your side by the end of the night I'll take this music, yeah Mike's handed, I'm speaking candid Understand this is the way that the masses demand it I have wisdom but God planned it General media planned it I blow flows on beaches and make you wonder where the sand went The Taliban spent more time in design to destroy cities My rhymes inspire minds I'm known as Big Papa But I ain't your daddy yet But I could be your bro If you could get the concept There'd be many to stand whenever I rip But it's devastation whenever I rip I spit flows to hit like mouth on tits Straight Legit, you fake rappers need to understand that felonies, gun fights, and drugs don't make a true MC. And I will do more than talk this talk, I will defiantly walk this walk. There's no need to spaz your nose bleeding while I'm beating your ass. You in the cesspool. Hope you can see by the end of the night. I'll take this music, yes. What does it private demand to gain the world and lose the soul? Hope you can see by the end of the night how deep this music is. What is it, problem? Ancient Chinese secret now. Yes. Did you not pay attention in your history class, partner? Wake up. Yes, sir. Partner. Wake up. Yes, sir. Partner. Wake up, son. It is written that it's nothing new under the sun. Nothing new. And that the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So take your position. Don't you know you are part of that scripture, yo? Yo, you've been getting in the way and what you knock you down. Yes, but we gonna bring the light, yeah. My Max B production, baby. You know what it is. Listen, I'm known to tell you to fight back. There's no need to sell crack just to live back. Why don't black superstars simply give back? When they know it's a struggle just to live black Can you picture that, Mr. Aristocrat? I'm coming from the bottom, rising to the top And conscious is the tone On the CDs I drop I won't flip flop like a black bass But I will put a message in the song Before I hook your ass See, we first class living Worse than slaves of the earlier days And we adapted the ways of the slave master I stand upon it The very rock which put your people in bondage Just to get a hundred The big face kind And it don't matter if it's making people lose their freaking mind that's why I'm speaking mine Hopefully they change yours To pull you out of these streets From these drugs and strange whores Huh Is anybody there? Is the love out there? Is anybody there? Is the love out there? It's like we died inside no longer having pride we are still for rides a new skill to hide and like the red tide go and get our heads dyed rebel against the laws in the cities we reside sleep the circumstance though our eyes open wide fail to coexist let alone coincide Each oh they way scared way of me like your man i don't know why when his you fake jews are scared of me and a little puppy. I don't give a damn what uh, what agency or who they are. I'm nothing to fear. I don't want to mess. I don't want no problem. Just cause it ain't enough. Should the man show proof. And if they overlook our forces, then we raise the roof. Which one of y'all? Let me be. With the window, Baba. I know you're looking at him. Here. Here, I know, I know, I know, I know. I got you, Baba. You want to do that? I like that. You want to run around that ring? Baby, 
We don't want no weak people here. We only want people that want to learn something. No cowards. No cowards, please. I'm going to the range. I didn't go, yo. I'm waiting till y'all get here. And we're going to go this weekend so we can go and shoot some stuff, you know? Be ready, bro. I'm not going to let nobody know. I'm just going to, I'm going to read the stuff. No. Hmm. Oh, I, I, I went to six. To make sure my for my key. I want to make sure I, I, I had to get another key. Well, the other one, I did something to it. So I went to the range to, you know, do some things, right? Exciting it. And I knew it was good. But it was, I can see. I don't know how, don't even ask, but I had messed the key up. So I took it. I was doing something and I was using the key. And it was very, very mild, but it just wouldn't work. So you know that's the gun range, so. That's why I had to pay, I had to pay, I had to pay nothing. Just went and got another key. So we go on. Slave to the system, then I broke free. I want to see my folk free. And then I broke free. I want to see my folk free. And then I broke free. I want to see my folk free. A slave to the system. And then I broke free. I want to see my folk free. Yo, Q Dog. Hey, I'm. Hey, Q. What's this? Q Dog. I'm live, man. Come on over to the channel. Sit down, have a seat, and listen in, bro. It's my boy Q. Quintus McDonald. Cincinnati coach. Childhood brother. I don't know why I did that, y'all. Because, oh, because a message. Number Kings, brother. Number Kings. Number Kings, brother. Number Kings. Oh no, that's the one I I, I can't hit that one because he made that, but they tried to act as retarded. This is my joint right here. Q Dog. Come on over and have a seat, beloved. We'll get it started here in about four or five minutes, man. Let's wait for a few more people. I don't really, they, the, the agents in YouTube, like I said, I know a lot of people that worked there once before, and it's like, if that, if, it's not throttling. These people intentionally, because you probably said something, I said, I call them fake Jews, that's what they are. He said, well, that's a good reason. I said, because that's what they are. <laughs> it ain't gonna change nothing. It ain't gonna stall or slow down anything. I want things to speed up. They're fake Jews, but they're cowards. They like to be on men's backs and stuff. And I said what was, what was needed to be said. And he was like, yeah, well, a lot of us that did the job. We were paid to do something. We knew it was the truth. And a lot of us laughed. But they're paid to do a job. But they're cowards. Because I'm really not the one they want to be sitting here doing this. I wouldn't give a damn if they had eight eyes. They were purple and, 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 and hue of yellow. All right? And stood three feet tall. Are 40 feet tall. I 
that's what I'm listening to when I'm here by myself. You dig what I'm saying? When I'm here, I'll be like, I'm thinking, he got stuff that I like. It's like um our brother um in your spirits on um um on a, on TikTok, man. He be doing you know open mic. You know he like he does like you know like poetry. You know what I'm saying? And I like I like listening to the brother. You know what I'm saying? And he knows he's indigenous. And he's, I think he's a Californian. And uh, brother's tight, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I love my brother because you know I used to do that. So I love when they do that. You know what I'm saying? We got kings and queens, brother. And that's what matters. Respectful brothers, young brothers and sisters. Plenty of them. Yeah, you believe me? You got this. I'm gonna say it with respect. This hybrid trying to tell me about the Cherokee people. First of all, England kidnapped Pocahontas, and nobody tried to save John Roth from anybody. That's a lie. And they took her over there, and I saw the pictures, and she's much more Negro or melanated than me. But they like the hot, you know what? They like the perversion. Because they, when you live a perversion, you give that energy. So you're going to take that energy. And they don't know how to think. Bad enough, the Oklahoma chief, that pale skin, that nice skin told you that a lot of us were the original people. But they have a hard time doing dealing with it. We don't care no more. I'm going to share something today. I already read some of the stuff, but I'm going to read today. Inventions, and I'm going to discuss a few things. And we're going to see if we can have a little more clarity when we got all these little light skins trying to tell the history of Tartary. And I always want to point to a land that they don't even know exists no more. And that's called, and it's there. It's called Caucasus. It's an actual country, a continent. Why is it disappeared? Oh, they want y'all to talk about the Caucasus Mountains. Stop it. There is a there is a place this is big as any of these called Caucasia. Yeah, we're gonna see about we're gonna see today. They ain't even been nothing. Everything came from here. Like Big Ben. Who invented the clock striking mechanism? We're gonna we're gonna cover some things. And they're gonna run off. And they're gonna come in, they're gonna look, and then they're gonna run off. Because their fragile little fake superiority and their racist identity and FW, which wasn't theirs by the ancestors. And the fact that there were people that lived subterranean. And even at the land spell, we were. And we had, to, well, somebody had to go and sleep with some things. In fact, Everybody's so busy digging up the world and everything, trying to figure everything out and have better understanding, but at the same time, because they're warlike, there's no peace in them. That's the blood they wanted in everybody. This live, I'm gonna shake the foundation. No gimmicks. I don't have to do all that. If we can't get back to where our ancestors were, my ancestors are with me, and we can't say things orally. If a perception of knowledge is by knowing but based on what you perceive on the continuity of what's brought for you and you can't listen to somebody who actually knows some things who says and lets you know he don't know nothing but he'll say what he knows yeah you're, you're broken you're not you're about you're, come on most social media saviors are fakes. Marks must be made. Knowledge one is way. Time is space. The great nation arc, whether it's day or dark creation, is far. Ways the heart as I sun ray my arc for me to patriot. Most social media saviors are fakes. Marks must be made. Knowledge one is way to run and face. I rose up, took a shower, purified my arc field. Took comfort for a wall to ensure my chlorophyll is pumped. Done some cross for sure, I want to build solid foundation, my crown sharp for a hill. They have the nerve to look at my beard, because I don't straighten my beard. It's not, you know that, you know that. Okay, yeah, maybe you are native. With the land of all foreign and alien entities, I decree this morning, send them back to what they say. 
you gonna make this up. Man, see how it's working out. Man, oh. I'm sore to the boat, bro. Ha, Sizzle, what's going on, beloved? We ain't seen you in a minute. What's happening? Oh, I'm about to tear it up, man. I'm just getting tired of our light skin brothers trying to talk about Tartary. When you have Bonacci, you done had the good guys, you had the movies with the mafia guys, Indian niggas, one same thing, you know what I'm saying? You've had enough people, governors, to say we're indigenous that we built America, but you still have these light skins who they broke. Well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to take all the time I want. Today is going to be about talking about these inventions, how they're applied to what they're applied to, and the fact that we don't have to argue about who we are. I'm getting tired of it. It's like I've seen people over six or seven years. We're in it, we're in it, we're in it. Oh, shut up. You're more than that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to break it down. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but love, love it. I don't know. Y'all might know some better ones, but these are the best chips I can find from the store. Otherwise, I make my own in my air fryer. I don't worry. I never got an air fryer with Teflon. I never used Teflon, y'all. But I think in the military, they did, and we was arguing. We don't want that, but... um. These things, I got a man, I got a whole bunch of man. These things are so good with the beets and the man, sweet taters. And listen here, and then I, I, I take some tomatoes and I slice them real thin, pop them in the air fryer with a little bit of Celtic salt, and then I got my cucumbers, my cucumbers from the reds that still grow. So I drove out there and I picked me up like five my cucumbers, my cucumbers, and I put it with a little bit of uh. Uh, five-year-old, six-year-old vinegar. Uh, yo, I, I just use this one because I don't have no chilies to make any. Because usually I grow chili. I used to grow chilies on the res and make my own hot peppers. Nobody really liked them because it was too hot. But I used to use this one and uh and, and olive oil. Best damn meal. I got me some clam chowder, Louisiana, that I made with my homemade last bit of my homemade red, you know, uh, red sauce. Some Louisiana clam chowder over there heating up. So I'm about to put spinach in it. Mm, mm, mm. I might make some this weekend when y'all come up, bro. Uh, ganja and uh, tea. I don't know what tea at. Hey, Mac B, what's going on, beloved? Man, you all late, man. I started off with you, man. I got. I see. This is when you know music is good, and you can just jam to it. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Can you see that dog? Now calm yourself. Don't start running around like a retarded boy. They see the neighbor's dog and the other dog over there walking, and he start going. And I, I gave him cat, a little bit of catnip today. He went crazy, y'all. I had to, I had to run upstairs and hide. I, he go crazy. I think it like crack. I'm gonna stop giving it to him. I want to get my girl, but they would tear this mug up, man. Cats are worse than dogs, man. And that's why I know the Chinese guy that supposedly owns this. I know he eat dogs because he's like, I don't want no dogs there. But if you're in transit, you can have them. I can have a service dog. But I'm going to get a dog anyway because I'm, I'm in the next couple of months getting rid of all this stuff and I'm out. Sit. Sometimes you got to know when to make change. You got to know when to put it in the proper perspective and know when to move. See, we were a migrating people. I hate the word migration. We moved about our land as applicable. We took care of the infrastructure, just like when we were showing them in the 1800s how to repair the cobblestones, how to make the bricks, the brick cities, how to refurbish. And when we were repairing the Capitol, the Franklin House, and everything else, we were establishing that, and all they did was hijack the history because of the wars and attempted to make it theirs. That ain't no White House. It never will be no White House. There's nothing pure about it. 
They even sold the um, which called house? I'm um, looking at the vice president house, twerking and everything. Come on, man. These beasts have no respect, but the illusion is we believe we're below them when we're actually above them, and because we affiliate uh, in a facilitation of a relationship that is a lie, we stay stuck there. That's why I did what I did. Let you know when I did the last video. When I did the last video, I'm, I'm yelling. Let me turn it down. When I did the last video, I had a lot more information. You dig know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Q, he's on the phone. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all right. You're on the phone, brother. Get, get back when you get back, boy. The video's going to be here. So, anyway, I had a lot more information that could have really brought out a little more. Yet, I believe that's for everybody to partake in. I don't believe I'm supposed to be, like I said, I'm no Messiah. Not at all. But what I'm saying is, is everybody should be able to put their 10, 20, 50, 100% in. It's not about one individual. And see, that savior of one individual complex we got from the enemy. We're all for ye of gods. Like, how do people miss that and misinterpret it? You know what I'm saying? And what gods is, is the little God. It has nothing, and there's no big God because you cannot put a label or a name on the creator of creation or the creators or how we want to see it. People have a hard time relegating themselves to that because they haven't freed themselves from the real chains of not adversity, but the chains that bind one to a lie. They haven't broken it. It's making it get tighter and tighter and tighter. You know what I mean? You can take a you can take the Bible, you can take any of those books and show them where they are gods. And they'll totally ignore it because, you know, I mean. You, you see some of those videos of these pale skins, these light skins talking about, these light skins talking about Jesus black. And you say to yourself, black, first of all, kind of tastes dead, but you say to yourself, damn, they really don't know nothing. And that's the five up, not the one up, the five up you got on all of them. But because y'all choose not to come together, maybe today, because Maybe today you'll see a little difference. Rob Bell, because I was big on Tartary, I remember she, we in her talk and I mentioned some books. She purchased a book and she knew she could see that there was a truth to it. And a number of other people. And it took off like a whirlwind. But there were already those who paid attention to me on MySpace, on Logbook, on Facebook when I used to talk about it and everybody ignored me. Are oh, you crazy, bro? When I high school, middle school, I, in elementary, I got whooped for mentioning Tartary. I got whooped. There's not no lie. I didn't even say it right. I said Tate. You know what I'm saying? I was a kid. A young one. Not a kid. Not a girl. But a, a young one. A young one. I get home. Mom be like, boy. And you know, she didn't have no anger face. Boy, why I tell you about mentioning that word? Wop, 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 wop. I'm talking about, man, Mike Tyson's, George Foreman's, Marvin's, Marvin, Marvelous, Marvin Hagler. You know? Ray Diamond, I was getting laughs and rights and hooks and chin check and oh no, I ain't know what no belts, man. We, we we learned we got look the women could fight like the men. Where I'm from, I'm serious. Will slide you under you guys today slide you under a truck. My great grandma had hands bigger than mine. And I got fat hands, a little stubby, little pistol rocket. I'm strong as a vice, though, but they used to be like, oh, what's going on? Jimmy missed that word. Everyone, all snap. On the arm. In the leg. I'm like, what kind of abuse is this? This ain't what my mammy was doing. But I mean, all it did was make me tough, and I started swinging back. You know? Uncle them showing me. You remember that? Come on now. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead. Let me get to share this little bit of information. I'm going to read. If you don't have, if you don't suffer from ADHD, you can hang in there. And if you do, there's nothing I can do about it. So, <laughs> so, when I was in France, and for anybody that knows, and even here in America, we had these little, these big life-size mechanical, very dark melanated, and even like porcelain pale skin that would play electric, you know, not electric, well, wind up, not electric that would play the the organ per se yeah the organ flute and dress 
in a way that was really Tartarian. We had the one with the very brown-skinned woman playing the harp. You know what I'm saying? Um, a number of different... We're talking about life size. And they work just like in the old westerns. Okay? Where you see the piano guy look like he's playing the piano. Walks away and you see that little roller that's playing the music. Well, y'all do know who invented that, right? Well, his name is Joseph H. Dixon. So... If Joseph H. Dixon invented this machine where the piano, you can put anything and it would make things, it would be the music that comes from it. And it's in all these vices that go back. Probably 14, 13, 1200s. I'm, I want you all to pay attention. I'm going to pull up some things. Okay. Little inventions. I'm going to read off the invention. If that's the case, then how are they going to sit there and they want to always connote us to be in from one place called this place of Africa? And then they want you to believe in some Silk Road trade when the Great Wall of China is not the Great Wall of China. That is not, they didn't build it. So if you already know that they lie so much, it is so imperative and important to change history. Because you know they got the video where they got the Chinese slaving, using rice cement and all kinds of different cements and building these structures. When they when they showed you that, they didn't show you that with several of them and that they go all the way around the country, go through Louisiana and Texas and all over the place. They want you to believe in dinosaurs, but they don't want you, and not, there's not one real bone of a dinosaur. Trust me, there's not one. I've done the deep dive. All of them are man-made. But dragons were, were well known over 200 years ago. Yeah, two to three hundred years ago. Well known. So if we created this little instrument, our brother, you want to see what he looked like? Well, this is the brother. And you know, they, they attempted to whitewash him. Um, they couldn't do too much from his youth, but in his older age, they changed him. So you can see him in his youth and when he is older, okay? And you see how I told you how we change as we age, all right? So that is Joseph Hunter Dixon, the craftsman who built not only the music machine that plays without nobody, the largest piano ever in the 1800s. Why would he build the largest piano? Obviously, he knew about the organs. Now, let me go ahead. And, and it's important and it's imperative because you have a lot of people, especially Africans, Af so-called Africans weren't, they weren't involved in none of this. Um, they just weren't. And now they're coming around and they're researching this stuff and they're finding it. And every time they see somebody as dark as them, they go, oh, he's got to be an African. No. You would think after they learned from us that, you know, they, they, they would have some remembrance. But you, like I said, you have a fake government all over there in all those different countries over there. All in proxy to the fake crowns in France. And they're talking about pulling away from America and all that big talk. That's because they're being told to. They need civil war. They need people to die on both ends. Otherwise, you wouldn't have Boko Haram over there. No, oh, they could squash them in a, in a heartbeat. But in order to train German and American special forces and the, the French Foreign Legion and all these other Dutch, and they got to have that. So they can send them over there because they're always in the country, just like they're always down in so-called South America. And we already know that you have your liaisons who convene with them down there to make sure that the board, they said the borders will be open, send whoever you want, bring them on up. That's right. Your CIA or whatever you want to call it. They didn't invent a damn thing. They use our stuff as a weapon. They groomed and conditioned and stupidity, brought into cult of mysticism, and they showed things. There are things that exist outside of your knowledge and knowing. Um, I'm not telling you to go start listening to Orson Welles and War of the Worlds and all this and other because that's a distraction. Fundamentally, you have to look at things and base it on how you perceive things and relegate it to what information is out there and not let yourself get so enveloped because that's what we have. We have people who are seriously being hoodwinked and hijacked in their own thoughts. So it's like a new phenomenon. 
What's the conspiracy? The fact that people relegate themselves to all information without going deeper and sometimes being silent as they do it. So, and as you know, um, I forget the idiot's name, but it was based on a Gujar, a Chazar, who um, printed these books and they made sure to say African-American, to which when I know about these inventions, because I've been working on inventions all, most of my life, I like to invent things, uh, where there was no such thing. This is how linguistically they're so so foolish. But when you got a people who want to murder the people of the land, murder the people of the land, and you have people steeped in racist narratives because they want to make, how do you say it? The victim, they want to make the victim the enemy, the terrorists. You know that false victim narrative? But they attacked us in August, you know what I'm saying, February or January, whatever the book, whatever they said, right? And everybody knows it was a lie because where was all the security? Where was that? Why was something open? This is what they do. You can see it time and time and again. While they're traveling around, their liaisons, walking around in suits with the name Paul Richards, thinking he's from England because he has an English accent. He is one and the same as the very Zionists and the very people who are culpable to the relationship that I was talking about early on to everything that's happening in this world. Who are the very ones who reached went out to destroy the world's history of tartary because it was based on organizing on organization and frequencies and harmony and balance you see they're very imbalanced every time i saw every time when we <laughs> when in the military we used to look at ron jeremy and i'm looking at these slisters ebony nay she's a preacher now sleeping with this big fat slobby thing and i don't want to mention the other one but see, this is the world that they've created, the perversion. You know, some people used to say, well, why didn't we have our own Adolf? Uh, look, man, our people don't even know how to get, get it together. It's got, it's got to be about crayon colors over here. <laughs> the ignorance is deep. Let me read these inventions again. And I want you to look, think about Tartary, the blimp. In Tartary, we can see they have aircraft and flying machines. Well, let's get into that. And maybe we should take back the air conditioning units. So the air conditioning unit, Frederick M. Jones, 1949. The Almanac, Benjamin Banneker, well, 1791. The Automatic Cutoff Switch by Granville T. Woods in 1889. So it's 1889 and Granville T. Woods Automatic Cutoff Switch no wonder they had a festival destroying our grand coliseums and our Tower of Light and all that stuff that they wanted to say was temporary, but they couldn't even build. But to destroy, that's what they do. Otherwise, they would have invented the cutoff switch, light, or the light bulb, like Louis Latimer, which they didn't. They attempted to steal it. How about the automatic fishing device by G. Cook in 1899? How about the automatic gear shift? So... Why would we need to invent the gear shift? And check this out. That was by Richard B. Spikes, 1932. Now, the blood plasma bag. They always want you to believe the light skins were the only one fighting the wars, but who's been making the movies? Who's been interviewing certain people to keep up a fake narrative of crayon, crayon color association as if it's superiority? I forget the director's name, but he had made the statement in order to increase our definitive, definitive state, we must make everything about the white success. I forget his name. I'll find it some other time and I'll bring it to you, to the forefront. How about this? The biscuit cutter, A.P. Ashbourne, 1875, because you know what? The whole cake is ours, y'all. And so is the biscuit. But what do they do with it? They take it and they pervert it. They put soy and chemicals because they need to poison the food because they got everybody in the world liking it. Now about this, the bicycle frame. Well, if we created the bicycle frame, Mr. I.R. Johnson in 1899, and somewhere around 1901, you know, World's Fair, you see them right after World's Fair, they're riding with these new bikes called inventions. And they're attempting to make a better one. But the bicycle frame was the best one. And they went right back to it. How about the baby buggy by W.H. Richardson in 1899? How about the cellular, the cellular, we, all, we know we created the cell phone, the brother in Detroit, right? But how about the cellular car phone by Henry 
T. Sampson, 1971. The Chamber Commode, or the Toilet, T. Elkin, 1897. They couldn't work anything. They didn't know how to do it. Was, it was so easy for them to pour poop and pee out the windows. You know, what assisted the black played over in Española and in UK and all that was the fact that they were walking literally in poo. Are y'all aware of that? Okay. Yes, my light skin brothers. Yes, y'all didn't know how to work nothing we had here. Anyway, the clothes dryer. Hmm. And would you believe that was around 1892? Yes. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that's by G.T. Sampson. How about the curtain rod? Because, you know, y'all are some nosy fools. I actually have stories in some of these books how y'all would peep into the windows in Virginia, in the Virginias and Carolinas and see what the so-called new Negro was doing. So the curtain rod, and that was in 1889. The curtain rod supporter, obviously, we created the curtain rod, all right? And that was separately created in 1896 by William S. Grant and the doorknob people. Oh, my goodness. The doorknob and the doorstop by old Dorsey in 1878. There was a time we didn't need that. Y'all didn't exist like you did. You want a plague of locusts. And that's where the original term comes from. How about the dustpan? 1897, like we're bum, bummy, dirty people. But Y'all couldn't wait to have us cleaning everything because you didn't know how to. It wasn't so much that you could clean. You were too lazy. You didn't appropriately know how to. Yes. How about the egg beater? 1884. Yes, the egg beater. 1884. Oh, and, and, besides, and besides, that was by Willie Johnson as well. He's a couple other inventions he has made. The electric lamp and bulb, or light bulb. Lewis Latimer in 1882. I had to learn the truth when I was still thinking that he only made the filament. Why would a brother create the filament? That was a lie told in the 70s. And not the whole light bulb, because I met two of the oldest survivors of that time in East Orange, New Jersey, because, you know, I've worked at the Thomas Edison building for two and a half years. Yes, sir. The elevator. Alexander Miles, and there are actually a couple of girls that came up with the idea, young kids. And that was around 1867. Alexander Miles, people. The Eye Protector by P. Johnson, 1880. The Fire Escape Ladder. Who remembers this in the 70s when they were talking about you, well, your thought was to believe that the pale skins, Irish Scots were the firefighters. Anyway. The Fire Escape Ladder, 1878 by J. J.W. Winters. How about the Fire Extinguisher? By T.J. Marshall, 1872. But they wanted you to believe in New York, all the places were burning down because they didn't have a way to put out the fires. We been had fire hoses. And remember, they were filling in many because water was very important. As, as we say water today, water was very important to us because of the frequencies. It didn't rain. Another thing what the tar these people are doing Tartary and they tell them in the pictures, the sky is whited out. You can't see nothing because there were no clouds. It didn't rain. The Folding Bed by L.C. Belly in 1889, to which they used, of course, in the frigging wars. Cots. Uh, the Fountain Pen. So every time you always saw them right in there, and, and Franklin, well, you know, Franklin, Benjamin Franklin, and oh man, the BS, you know what I'm saying? And they all signed the Declaration of, hey, come on, man. The lies they tell. It's a fountain pen, people. W.B. Purvis, 1890. The furniture caster, so you can slide your stuff around without destroying stuff. Do you think our people needed a furniture caster living in old shanties and raggedy things? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, by Brody and Sugar in 1889. So you still think our people was living in some old ransacked shacks? No, I told you what they were told. They came down, land grabs were everywhere, and these people, because our people were tired of fight, fighting, and still running the country, 
but it's still running the country in the 1800s, all the way up to the early 1900s. That's right, we were. But a lot of lying were going on. And as these people kept getting off the boat coming here, they were arming them. And they were going to our lands and murdering our people. So a lot of the people that sit there, oh, we've been here 100 years. Those people murdered your ancestors and sins of the father. So what's the problem? Yes, light skins, play that game if you want. Things are changing, and it's because we're making a change. And you can't stop. Keep joining your cults, murdering our children, and see how that's going to work out for you. Furnish on um, the Gas Mask by Garrett Morgan, 1914. Saved a whole lot of light skins, raggedy ass lives, didn't it? The golf tee. And yet you would look at TV and swear that's just their thing. Again, T. Grant, 1899, it is still everything. The guitar. The guitar, people. By Robert F. Fleming Jr., 1886, not African. Fake-ass Jews. Anyway, excuse my language. Hairbrush. Of course, the hairbrush with first petitions and everything else. Lydia D. Newman. You all should know her very well. That's right. They don't teach her in school. That's right. Because they want to poison everything. They want the bleach and stuff to be chemicals so it affects your way your thing, messing with your electricity and everything else. Yay! The hairbrush. Oh, excuse me. As far as the guitar, that was 1886. The hairbrush, Lydia D. Newman in 1898. Now check this out. The typewriter. But whenever you see those shoes, you know, Ag Agatha Crumb and Margaret, whatever. It's always got a ch -ch 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 -ch. and then you see the little quill and the ink boom, on the commercial in the movies, right? Are y'all listening now? The Corn Harvester by Henry Blair. Can't give a date on these because if they did, they would lie. And it would really upset the truth of history, the lies of history and y'all should already know when it was created. The railway, the railway signal by A.B. Blackburn. Why would he have to create a railroad signal? And that was roughly, the reason why they put it there, that was supposed to be around 1790 to 1830, something like that. And when the trains were ended up, for some reason, somewhere around there, they started to be covered in mud. And there's actually pictures, I've, I think I've showed one or two, shows you these dark Chinese, who are not Chinese, the Cathays, and pale skins, and American Negroes, digging up trains. Literally, you can see the train, and you can see the mud that covers all the way to the track, how high it was over these big Tartarian, big iron, stink, these big monstrosities. Who remembers the post I made with the Tartarian trains that you will never see again? Hmm. How about, that's the railway signal too, signal. The paper bag making machine by William B. Purvis. Now he made a couple of things up top. The paper bag making machine. The Ice Cream Scoop by A.L. Krell, February 2nd, 1897. The Insect Destroyer Gun. Now, I know y'all saw back in the 70s. You remember show the guy sitting on the talking about shooting insects, right? Like Zip Pell Skin, like he invented it? Mm -hmm. That's like the two-step. Uh, yeah, long sauce. The Insect Destroyer Gun, 1899. The Keychain that we are so fabulously carrying around. That was used for the big clocks, even to put your pistols on. Mm -hmm. Keychain. Do you know what key actually means? It doesn't necessarily mean a skeleton key. Okay, just want to know. J.L. Luden in 1894. Lawnmower. The goddamn lawnmower. That's by my boy J.A. Lohr. Yes, sir. John Burr, 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 Lohr, whatever. Burr, whatever. Right? 1889. Hmm, Tartaria. Hmm, hard time saying the Negro built the Republic of Tartaria in America. It just bothers you because they put up all these little fake ass Masonic statues. It's really hard for you to, oh, we had our Pelicans, but they were born from us, which they were all lynched and murdered right alongside us. It, I'm, actually, I'm actually on the same trees in the same lots, a whole lot of them. Somebody want to debate me? But well, this is just inventions, but I know a lot of history, too. How about this? The Lawn Sprinkler, J.W. Smith, 1897. Hmm. Hmm. 
The Lemon Squeezer by J. Thomas White, 1896. The Lock. The friggin' Lock, people. W.A. Martin, 1889. Pay attention to the years. The Lantern. The friggin' Lantern. They always show you the cowboy, the guy with the lantern, and the, the fake friars, and, and all the people running in the wood, and, and there's never no melanated carbon based Ether 9 body that can make oxygen. Yeah. But no, we can't show that. It'll fracture fake white supremacy. It upset people like Officer Tatum and, and, and the other ones who talk, the black conservative and all these idiots. Oh, yeah, you know there's a way to come back on that, right? Pfft. Anyway, the lubricating cap, cup. The lubricating cup. Mm, that can go to the motor, too. Okay. So that was created by Elijah McCoy in 1898. The lunch pill. Who remembers the good old Herman Munster lunch pill? All the way up until the Teenage Ninja Turtle ones before they started going plastic, KB toy, and all that other stuff. And that was made by James Robinson, 1887. Okay. The mailbox. Why would we have to invent mailbox for some pale skins? There's a book I have. You know those pneumatic shoots when they used to put? And... Uh, board for the phone operators who you think created it don't worry about it we'll discuss that when i open those books again the mailbox paul b downing eight, 1939 the mop thomas b stewart we're very dirty people 1883 this is the one that gets everybody the motor henry ford right brothers what's that french guy's name no, no, they were too busy attempting to reverse engineer the fact that we flew in all the machines because they belonged to those little secret um, societies, Zionism and Theosophacy and all that other stuff, the Oriental and the Pan-Americans and all, because they need to have to hide because the, they believed that the war they brought upon us and the poisoning and everything else and the destruction of the cities is supposed to have subjugated and subdued us and the different punch bowls, not just one. Yeah, like, you ain't going to come over here and say nothing. Tartary guys, you're not going to come over and say nothing. Because then you have to go back and you have to dig more and more and more to prove that your existence is relevant. It should be relevant based on the fact that we should all have love and, and be costing homage to one another. But your ignorance reigns supreme. Not superiority, but that's what superiority is. Created by the fact by a fake Jew. How about this one? Oh, yes, the mortar, Frederick M. Jones, 1939. Well, we know something was created before that, but the mortar. Literally, the friggin' motor, people. Because as I said, we had big vehicles that had these little nods on them that ran on the ether around us. Literally. Magnets and copper. Hmm, we created all the light. Oh, magnets. That's another one. Oh, that's another. That's in the book. Now, let me carry on. Peanut butter. Well, we all know about George W. Carver. Okay, in 1896. He did a lot of things with peanut butter. Just like what Ron Jeremy did with Vaseline, we did it with peanut butter. <laughs> the pencil sharpener. Y'all remember the pencil, right? So the pencil sharpener was by J.L. Love, okay? And that was 1897. Yeah, they had to teach these um, the Native American movement and these cat and Arab people who would play Spanish and Native Americans, not all the Spanish people. Just so listen up. And they had to make sure that they can understand this different language and know how to write, which a lot of them didn't learn. Anyway, The Record Player Arm by Joseph Hunger Dixon in 1918, mind you. And the Refrigerator by Jay Standard. Y'all remember the old, y'all go look up the roof. They had the Jay Standard on it. Remember the little silver with the red Jay Standard refrigerators? The, oh, okay, y'all didn't know about that? Okay. Uh, let's carry it on. Yes, that's I'm going to be very uh, uh, shiny on on, on this um, here. Okay. <laughs> oh, that oh, that was 1891. In case anybody's wondering, because you know they wanted everybody to believe that we created the refrigerator box. They wanted the back of trucks. Yes, we did, but that was a different time. Riding saddles. For all the westerns, you see them big old. Spaghetti westerns and 
Well, I enjoy watching them. No, we invented the saddle. The real cowboys. W.D. Davis. That was 1896. So that means that, whoo, old Goofy Ball's Wild West show for Tartary, he had to have a whole lot of saddles made, so it was a whole lot of us making them. Us, a lot of us still at work hard and teaching up. The rolling pen. For those who have a hard time, because when I mentioned the pen before, that was based on like the quill. Like, remember, signing of the Declaration and Independence and all those things I have, parchment paper. Yeah, that was us, not no pale skins. Again, oh, da, 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 da. And that was by John W. Reed. And some of y'all should know that. Okay, and that was around 1884. Now, the shampoo headrest by C. O. Bailiff. Mm -hmm. 1898. The spark plug. Why would we need to invent the spark plug? There weren't no furnaces at that time. 1830. There was no furnaces. They want no flamethrowers. Get the spark on. Let me carry on. Tartary, the Americas, the Republic, the old world. Hmm. The straightening comb. Look at your hair, kinky. Blah, 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 blah. That was Madam C.J. Walker. The one who showed y'all how to get the kink out your head. The scissors to cut it. And the natural lie from seashells and good river mineralized water. We didn't need all these jacked up chemicals to kill people, all right, to straighten y'all's hair as well as ours, which was well known for a long time. Nineteen oh five. Man, has got straight hair. Shut y'all's goofy, no education, no nothing, monkey behinds up for once in your miserable life of existence. Still digging up the earth to figure things out. The stethoscope. Boom, boom. Do I need to get mine? Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom, boom. I can hear it in my wrist too. Oh, wait a minute. Something's not going on up there. Yeah. By a moat, and that was roughly ancient friggin' Egypt. Here, these are American inventions. Oh, when they say ancient Egypt, they're talking about here, not over there. Oh, don't worry, I'm just getting started. Uh, oh, you don't want me to? You don't want me to read all of these? Do you? Do you, do you oh, no, let me let me carry on what I'm doing. If you hear, you're entertained. I hope. I've had enough of it. They want to debate. You tell them to come to me. I want to see the best of them, too. Oh, the street sweeper. Charles B. Brooks, 1890. Slaves, huh? POW is more like slaves. Where? Oh, this was after you were slaves? Yeah, that was before you even came to this land, you dummies. Stove, the friggin' stove by T.A. Carrington. The friggin' stove, people. The stove. We created the stove. We invented the stove. Ain't that something? 1876. That tells you all the history they share about when people baking bread and all that stuff is a pure damn lie in 1776. We eat fruits and vegetables and drink from the rivers right around us. Sugar Making Improvement by Norbert Milieu, 1846. The telephone transmitter. But they're going to have you looking at Mr. Edison. First phone call. All a lie. He didn't invent not a damn thing. That's why Nikola Tesla couldn't stand him. 
That mulatto nigga they brought here to be the face for the Gujar. He detested what he was doing. It's in letters. Telephone transmittal by Granville T. Woods, 1884. Now, take that year and go and do some research. You want to see the devil in the mix? I said balance. Didn't I? The Thermostat Control by Frederick M. Jones in 1960. Yeah, I mean, even then, after all this crap, the traffic light by Jared Morgan in 1923, because y'all couldn't drive our vehicles for crap. The tricycle. We love our children. How did they get us to hate them? Oh, bad blood. Remember, they tried to make it like if our blood was a numb? Actually, our blood and the pale skinned women make better men. I can prove it. Historically. Even Slash doesn't like the world he's involved in. And I can name a plethora of others. Unless they get in too deep. Oh, damn, I sound like a movie quay. Hey, Papa. Can you see the cabin? Hey, what's up, Papa? Yeah, you're fine with me. Let me finish reading, okay? Now listen to this. The friggin' traffic light by Jerry Morgan, 1923. The traffic light, people. The tricycle in 1888. Oh, that just disrupts all those pictures from Tartary and the people riding around on bicycles and the little children on the tricycles and even the little carts. The Ice Cream by Augustus Jackson. Do you know how far back the ice cream go? So when was the ice cream cone made? Hmm. Or scoop. 1897, right? By A.L. Krell, right? I'm just saying. Right? So if Augusta Jackson made the ice cream, the ice cream was made a long time ago, people. Because see, when I was growing up, being nurtured after being, being reared and nurtured after being raised for the first six years of my life, that means literally killed almost several times, set on fire twice. Yeah, remember I still got the scars. Military took me like that. So it's in the police records. They want you broken anyway, right? Ice cream we used to make. And not from the snow outside falling on the ground. I remember my great grandma talking about, I don't know where all this rain come from. She was like, why did it be raining and raining? We ain't gonna see growing up. And I used to listen to her talking to herself. My great grandmother used to take me everywhere. Boy. Told you I was down there on Broad Street in Norton, New Jersey, going to Woolworth when she slid that woman. Talking about black bitch. And mama turned around and looked at her. And everybody down there had North from Fish Market on up. You know, my grandpa was like, my family's the fighters and killers. She slid that woman so far out in the middle. And if y'all know about Broad and Market, how hard Broad Street is, she slid her almost halfway out there in one hit. She probably broke her up. Some people did let, let her and me. Her and I was going to Woolworth like we was heading. The Striking Clock, Benjamin Banneker. 1761. Those are integral, intricate me mechanisms. And now they want to poison us with chemicals that attack our genes. This is how perverse. These are not people that's doing this. Not people, y'all. Be mindful of that. And these dumb idiots are not who they used to be. Those individuals are long dead. And they're probably trying to figure out if they can get back and tell everybody what they did and how they goofed up. No, they're just going to indoctrinate more idiots. And more idiots. Until y'all snap a out and wake up. I think I told you the reason why they created familiars in Blade because it's a real thing. I shouldn't know. How about the gas heater and clothes dryer? Well, we already saw the clothes. We already know. But that alone was B.F. Jackson. The air conditioning unit, the thermostat, the stove, the potato chip by Harm S. Thomas. Man, 
Good gracious. Good golly wally. Let me look over here. I'm gonna fool I'm gonna fool. We, we invented the coin changer. And you know what them fake things did with that? Just robbing everybody. The rotary engine. That was by Andrew J. Bird. The car coupler for the trains by Andrew J. Bird. Stainless steel pads. Those are for sliding the furniture around. You know the name. Alfred Benjamin. How about the fact that we created the torpedo discharger? That means the Germans didn't create it. The torpedo discharger by H. Bradbury. The disposable syringe that was being used on me when I was a kid. We should have stuck with that because you could tell. At least it ain't in a package where they could taint it and kill everybody. The home security system. Oh, oh as, far as, well, as far as the disposable syringe, that was Phil Brooks. And now Mary Brown created the home security system. You see them dumb Muslims, they over there, that one man can't do that, can't read, and they want to kill him and murder him. Well, you know how it is when you start humping little boys and sheep. You lose your mind. Well, we had the corn harvest stuff, but we also created the corn planter. Just to let you know that, that's by Henry Blair, who also created the cotton planter as well. Planter. Okay? The horse bridle belt. Yes, sir. Lincoln F. Brown and the horseshoe, if y'all remember me stating it, John A. Burr. Even the train alarm, the freaking train alarm by R.A. Butler. How about the image converter? Do y'all know what that is? Look it up by Geo Garothers. How about for radiation detecting and automatic? Oh, and for radiation detector as well. For radiation detector as well. You know, we created the GPS, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure it did. Oh, we'll get there. Even water quality algorithm. Because the water is life. But who's so busy poisoning it? With industry of war. The envelope seal. Laser fuels. Why would we make that again? And that was by Lester Lee. The envelope still was F.W. Leslie. He created quite a few things when it comes to that, the, you know, the office type stuff. The window cleaner, we did that as well. And that was A.L. Lewis, for those who don't know. The shoelacing machine was pretty weird. I actually got to look at a picture of that. But Jan met Metzl, Metzl, Met, 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 Met Zelger, something like that, if I remember right. The rocket catapult. Mm-hmm. That's by Hugh McDonald. McDonald. Hugh McDonald. It's a brother. We'll look his picture up. Okay. Ah, super absorbent polymers by Kira Nukum. And we created the heating furnace by Alice H. Parker. We did make the heating furnace, like I told you. The frigging airship, the blimp. Oh my goodness, by Jeff F. J. F. Pickering. The airship, the blimp, and all the Tartarian pictures with the whited out background so you can't see there wasn't those clouds. It was all blue sky. No clouds, no rain, nowhere. Ever. Till these bastards started creating these machines and pumping it up in 1950s. The 60s especially. To seed the clouds. So they can grow their genetically modified tomatoes and everything else. And they've been doing this every time you see clouds. It's them. Nothing natural about them. Debate me. The dustpan. Oh, with some dirty things. How about the hand stamps? Well, if we were doing that, we would have invented the hand stamps. Oh, my goodness. That goes all the way back to royal seals and... Oh, and proclamations and documents and, oh, my goodness, what the hell did y'all do other than walk around with this fake I'm white shit? How about the cellular phone, which was created by Henry Sampson as well? Even the lawn sprinkler. <sighs> the player piano by Joseph Dickerson, as well as the arm for record player by the same individual, Okay. Oh, the photo print wash by, listen to this, 
Clatoria J. Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta read that closely. Clatonia J. Dorticus. Dorticus. Was that kind of Roman sounding? That's a nigga. No, don't come with that Italian and all that other goofy shit. African Americans, right? Shut it up. <sighs> well, you know Thomas Elkins created the toilet commode. We already went over that. Okay. We already know Jay Gregory created the motor. Even the thermal hair curlers we invented. And yet the one should should be tied, you know. Go grease lining, burn them, go grease lining, go grease lining. Or how about this? When you're a jet, you a man and a boy, from your first cigarette to your last little toy. Oh, that's right. West Side Story. Remind me of West Side Story. But remove the Negro, huh? But y'all running around with big ass curlers in your head under dryers with sinks to put your head in. Okay, okay, Roger that. The kitchen table because we weren't beast. We weren't, yeah. Uh, the kitchen table, that's right. By Henry A. Jackson. Even the wrench. By, by a Johnson of all sorts. A John A. Johnson. <sighs> Even a defroster. Why make it refrigerator and make it cold and not have a defroster? That's right. The defroster by Frederick M. Jones, the air conditioning union, two cycle gas engine. The internal combustion engine, the starter generator, and even the refrigeration controls, all by Frederick M. Jones. Bottle caps by Jones and Long. Even the electric lamp. My goodness. How about remember Rufus J. Weaver with the little chair that with the old pale skin lady, you know, they got to put them in the music videos and everything. That's why you have Puff Giddy all up in them, right? With the little stair climbing, you know, chair for the handicap and the old. Take you up the stairs. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what I thought. Y'all want me to stop now? Oh, no, no. They're going to keep hiring it because they're too stupid to listen to me. I told them to stop. Leave me alone. But they don't want to exist. I can't do nothing about it, then. I can't stop it because of their ignorance. I don't care. I don't want nobody to believe me. I want you to know or not know. And I mean that. Y'all know when Granville T. Woods created the telephone transmitter and electric cutoff switch, he also had to create the relay instrument. He had to do the electromech brake, the galvanic battery, and electric railway system people, the electric railway system people, the monorail, the, all that stuff. That's right. When the roller coaster, who you think invented the roller coaster? That person. And also the auto air brake that's used on trucks, and buses, and planes. And t -t 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 ah. Hmm. The helicopter, Paul E. Williams. The Sandy Phone. <laughs> the Sandy Phone by Jerry Johnson. We know who created the Super Soaker. We don't have to get into that one tell Lonnie Johnson. We already know Augusta's. Even the pacemaker controls. Mm -hmm. Otis Boykin. And you get some of them pale skins running around still talking about, I can't stand them N words. You know what I'm saying? How about the Gorn's missile? What the guy? Yeah, by Otis Boykin. The red, yeah, yeah. Well, we already know who made the space retrieval alarm, okay? Y'all were, were 1980 something, right? Y'all should know that, right? I think they taught that in school. Or maybe they didn't. Uh, Mr. Williams, right? Harl? Okay. That's not my problem. A video commander? Multi-stage rocket. Adolf Shams. Not a German. Not a Nazi. Not a Gujar. And the GPS was Gladys West. I'm not going to keep reading a whole bunch of names. If these summer bitches don't get themselves together because now they feel like they're going to kill everybody because you got these goofy, weirdo, child molesting pedophile, fake identity things and the WHO and all these other idiots and these monkeys and these fake secret societies and these goofs who think they control these narratives when our energy is changing. They played... The, people, the things that came here weren't meant to be here. And they're going to find out the hard way. 
like I said, I know how it ends. So if they want to keep playing the game, go right ahead. We're not playing. No one's running. No one's hiding. You pulled and chose a bad hand by choosing this century. And this is to them. And for those of you who are very ignorant, who choose to be outside, I'm not talking about literally. I'm not asking nobody nothing else no more. Those of you who are coming this weekend, don't renege. This is the last time I offer it. I don't care what's going on in your little fractured life. I found that to be very important because you need to know who you are, that you're all royalty. And for these under beasts, it's important to kill royalty. And you don't have to die unroyally. You don't really die anyway. But y'all need to stop being afraid. And I'm not going to keep repeating myself as I stated. Appreciate y'all taking the time to listen to an old, old, old fart like me. And I love y'all. I hope it oscillates, oscillates the same. Where it's always peaking. I'm going to shut you out and I'm going to get up off of here. Because sometimes we have to do something a little different because the parties of the bee are so ignorant. And yes, in the book, when it comes to electricity, why do you think Nikola Tesla wanted to be around us? And Thomas Edison didn't create it. EMC Square. Why don't y'all really study that to know that it comes with error? Then maybe you can figure out the truth. Snow, hey, that's my love. Hey, baby. Herbo, I got you. What's up, beloved? Max V. So nobody else wanted to comment. You were the only ones to comment. I guess they were so scared they had to keep it throttled. Fake fucking Jews. And you're not going to do a damn thing about it. You listening? And the world knows it anyway. I don't care about their little monkey ads when they want to push war. Ain't that funny? What happened with the fake Jews in Palestine? There's no Israel. The people of Israel are right here. The people are right here. Israel's right here. The Judeans, the Atlanteans, whatever you want to call them, different times. Experiments are going to stop. Those on, out in those islands and on those lands, you better hope some of them survive. And that's all I got to say. Beloved sisters and brothers.